Hi friends, this is Matt here. Uh, starting this off just a little bit, uh, we've already started on the process, but this is a, a little project that we started uh, about a month ago. Um, we got this from a kid up in Kansas, and uh, this is a 1986 GMC, I believe it's uh, GMC minibus. But uh, so far, um, you know, we, we took a look at it and, and decided to go ahead and purchase. He just, he wanted to get rid of it. Um, as far as overall, the, uh, the engine's in good shape. It has 177,000 miles. The, uh, the fluids, all the fluids have uh, some leaks, um, but it had been sitting a little over six months and over six months prior or after, prior to that. So the seals are all need to be replaced, uh, the gaskets and everything. So we're, we're working towards getting some of that done. Um, we have started already, if you look at the top, originally that was yellow and there was some, a little bit of rust, not too bad. Um, this is a rubber roof coating. So far we've done three coats. We're gonna do at least one more coat of, of the roofing. Um, this is something that, uh, that Lori has done she won't let me get up there. She's afraid I'll, I'll fall, which is probably the case. But so this bus, um, the, uh, the guy who had it prior to the kid, um, if you see up here, he had actually installed a city water hookup, which will replace, probably use the same area, but, uh, put a new one in there. So there's that he has on the front of it. He had a small solar panel. Eventually, we'll put a uh, bigger set somewhere between 800 and 1200 kilowatt. Um, and uh, he had it set up to where the battery and everything is right down here, right below the, the uh, front seat there. Although, once we get this set up, we're gonna have to have two or three batteries not just one so so there's that um we're working towards uh sanding all this down pretty soon we're going to be doing a primer coat on the outside we have this side pretty much ready the other side still needs to be sanded down um and then he also had if you look down below there there's a black tank uh i forget what you call this where you empty it out so there's that, and there's also an empty spot just below there, somewhere right around there. That is the um, the white tank or the, the fresh water tank. So um, he has a 30 amp hookup, but he didn't actually have 30 amp breakers on the inside. So we're gonna have to redo all that. Um, he had a propane set up here that ran into the bus. Some of this can be used, some of this we're gonna have to rerun um, just for code and stuff and safety. But uh, the setup itself is not too bad. Um, he had a, a small little stove in there. We're gonna have a stove and oven um, and set it up with, currently it has a toilet, which, so back to this area here, that's a, uh, flush out for the black tank there's a toilet right here in the back corner which we're going to take the toilet out and put a shower in there and then use a composting toilet so that's kind of where we're at right now um, we still have a lot of sanding and painting to do um, one of the things that we're going to do also is we're going to be replacing all of these lights here um, even the ones that do work, they're not very bright. Yes, I'd love to keep the originality of the lights because uh, these, uh, if you look at, like on this side here. So those are the original brake lights and, and turn signal lights from this bus from 1986. Love to keep them, but I think it's more important to have safety and, and get the, the bright LEDs put on. So this is where we're at. Um, the next step, I'm gonna start actually filming this now. Um, part of the reason why we didn't film much of this is because the guy who had this before, the, the young kid, 
when he put it together, um, he, he used a little bit of everything. Um, when you're talking about screws, he used Phillips, Hex, all kinds of stuff. If you look at it, we've, we've started the, the tear down somewhat. Um, we've gotten it down to where we're about ready to pull up the floor. Um, right there's a, um, the, uh, water, uh, water pump. And then you can see the toilet way back in the corner there. Um, so we need to tear up the, the floor the whole way down to the base. We're gonna put down some noise canceling uh, insulation, then some insulation, then plywood. Then we have some hippo, uh, I believe, believe it's called hippo hide flooring, um, which you can see the roll of it there. Um, that's gonna be, it's like a grayish black, but it's very durable made for like, uh, for your shed or for your, your garage type thing. So it'll be very wearable. Um, so pretty much everything in here is going to be grayish, uh, gray, white, and black are going to be the main three colors. And that way, you know, you can add any kind of color you want and it'll go with it. So, um, this is a, uh, stove and oven that we purchased. Uh, we got that, uh, it was a scratch and dent. Um, so we, we found a lot of really good deals lately. Um, really excited. It's going to be fun. So. Anyways, look forward to uh, you guys coming along, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, and I'll get to you as fast as I can. Um, or if, if you see something I'm doing wrong, tell me. I'm not going to get upset about it. I mean, it's I want this to be done right and safe, as cheaply as possible, obviously, but um, sometimes cheap isn't always the best way to go. So, um, And the other thing that uh, I want to point out, too, if you look back in the back there, there's a... Um, window unit air conditioner, which he used. And then there's also a uh, propane heater, which those are actually the, the small ones like that are not supposed to be used indoors uh, without being vented. So um, we're gonna be taking those out and we have a mini split that we're gonna set up um, on the outside of the back. We're gonna have to um, build a cage for it and uh, make sure it's nice and secure and everything. So um, anyway, like I said, come along for the ride. We're going to have a blast doing this. So we'll uh, see you next time. Thanks for seeing. Thanks for watching.